Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. So we hear these stories all the time. Um, family members abroad are always complaining that they set up businesses for family members in Nigeria to support them so that they are not constantly coming for help over mm. and over again mm. and it hasn't <coughs> worked out. For some people it is, we are on TV, we look very fine, right? Uh -huh. So they feel that we have blown mm. and they ask us for more financial support and all of that. And it is not... Empowerment is not a problem. We want to discuss how do we empower rights. Rightly, yeah. How can we support people to set up structure? Nima has lamented about somebody who said, go and do training. Mm. The girl stopped training. Mm. Help to start business. <coughs> girl to be, you know, so there's obviously something that as a country we are missing. Missing, How yes. to do empowerment yes. right. So I think the first thing is to watch people and watch if they have stay in power. And that's why you don't jump mm. into becoming a messiah all of a sudden. Mm. They ask for 10 million, give them 10 million. Why? Let me give you an instance with myself. I remember when I wanted to start the business of buying and selling, right? I was still a classroom teacher at the time. And then I collected money from my husband and we bought the product. While I'm st I was still selling the product, dollar increased. I think dollar then was like 160. Mm. And I increased. And I had not finished selling my goods. And I was stunned between, do I increase my price? I'm still begging people to come and buy everything. Or how do I do this? I lost money in that business. At some point, I had to give out some of the product. So when I came back again with another business idea, my husband said, brother, auntie, we're, we're not going to do this. <laughs> we are not going to do this. Leave me alone. So I thought to myself, how do I prove that I can actually do business? Mm -hmm. So I started my business in, during COVID-19, mm -hmm. the hair. Mm -hmm. I was drop shipping. I know get shame. Mm -hmm. I will collect, in fact, I will advertise market. Mm -hmm. The market, uh, somebody will pay. I will now go and collect and sell. So when I went back to my husband again to say, ah, brother, help your sister now. Come and support this business. I had money I had made from dropship. I didn't have one good. Mm -hmm. I had made profit mm -hmm. from all those waka waka. And one of the reasons I decided to now start doing it properly and stocking, mm -hmm. because some of the products, by the time it gets to the customer, because I did not see it, mm -hmm. they will complain that it did not look like the what? picture you sent, blah, blah, blah. So I now said, baby, I would like to buy this product so I see it myself mm -hmm. before I send to my customers. customers. That was how I started. And he was glad to give me additional money to start the business. When I was getting a shop, the question was, are you sure you can make up to, to pay? I say, I've gotten my products to this far. In fact, if you do my total, you know how much I already have in goods. Mm -hmm. Because everything I was making, I was putting it back. Mm -hmm. I say, pay this one year for me. I will never come back to ask you. Mm -hmm. for, and one of the reasons I didn't want to pay the one year was because I was working on materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I didn't want to cut that. I said, yeah. just help me. Mm -hmm. And that before the rent mm. expired, as much as we did not sell this past few months, mm. I had dropped my rent. I just told him I've paid my rent. Mm. I was like, okay, that's good. Mm. Right? So you must test people. Mm. It's not about I love you so much, I want to kill you mm. with <laughs> kindness. Mm. You must test people. Do they have staying power? Mm. Do they have capacity? To run business in Nigeria is not big. Hey, no, we no. are crying every day. Mm. Last month, if you see my books, you will weep for me. But your staying power means that you keep doing whatever it is. Now, when people get something that they feel it's free, it didn't come from my sweat, there's a tendency to mismanage it. And that's why you must test them small, small. They ask for one million. Why can't you start this business without a penny? Let me even see if customers will listen to you in the first place. Go around, talk about it. Let's see how many customers you can make. You can bring before I give you the cash. Mm. You see if this person is ready to work. So Sometimes, test, yes, test, test them out with yeah. small. They are staying power. Their, yes, out, yes. and see their strength. Power. In that testing, mm. you may find out that this person cannot. See, everybody cannot do business. Let's mm. stop lying to people. The person that we've been supporting to do business since has been failing. Over 15 businesses collapsed. Our money gone. This person, when he's working for you, He's diligent. Mm. He knows how to do the work. He knows how to put himself in every work. Can you sit down in the office and work? This is where your skill. Everybody cannot do business. Mm. We all can be entrepreneurs. Let me take a from mile two. Okay. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Mile 12, rather. Hello, Ayo. Are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning. Fantastic. Good, good, good job. Thank you for having me. Good job you guys are doing there. I must appreciate the effort. Thank so, you. to be quick about this, um, there is no doubt that Grateful attack is but business mindset is very crucial. So the Bible was not stupid when it said that if you're faithful and faithful, you'll be faithful as much. But the question is, what is that link to that you're faithful that you're faithful in doing? There's no doubt that this guy is talking about is a great marketer. Mm -hmm. He understood the product. He did a very good job at marketing, mm -hmm. but he lacked the ability to manage a proper 
business is affected me. Both of us, the good master, but not the good money manager. Mm-hmm. I mean, find out, we're talking about 15 million naira here, and I believe that a business that is ready to put such an amount of money should have three most important things in of the proper business. The first one is selection. You look at the right set to select a particular school. Fine, he's a good marketer. After mm-hmm. selecting the right, you want to look at the proper place to place them. You can't place a marketer in an accounting department. It won't mm-hmm. work. If you have properly placed the guy, place where he's actively living in his strength mm-hmm. and not place where his weakness is obvious, which was what affected him. And the last thing you should have looked at, after you selected your space, you should have looked at training to be better equipped. This guy has most, the better part of his years, has been costed, you know, 50,000 naira, maybe 100 of them. Maybe a better empowerment for him. Million naira, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of money. I'm going to dash me that money, that money, that that money, that money after my business. I know we are going to what money and bring training. Totally understand. Thank you so much, Ayo, for your contribution. Yes. Yeah, so how yeah, do we I, empower? Yeah, rats? I want to. I want to talk on mentorship, right? Mm. So you find out that you know on social media, my DM is full. So many people like you. You know, mentor, mentor, mentor. You know, I have for me to choose a mentor or for people to choose a mentor. People need to understand that mentorship is a two-way game. Mm. You need to first of all respect the fact that I'm giving you of my time. Mm. The time I, I want to use to do a lot of things. I'm a busy person, right? I'm juggling. And then um, you need to show up. The people also need to understand that mentorship is seven. I have mentors. I make sure that I show up for them. Mm. I make sure that I bring value to the table. Sure. I make sure that, the, that as the way they see me, they are proud that they are mentoring me, that I'm bringing something, I'm trying to serve them, I'm trying to show up for them, I'm trying to also put value in their own businesses so that when they, I, I need something, I need um, um, that, that, that mentorship time, they are willing to give it to me. Mm. Most Nigerians, all they want to do is that, oh, mentor me, mentor me. They're either asking you for something. <laughs> yeah, they're either asking you for something. They don't show up. You know, they don't listen. And they get too familiar. Mm. You know? So, yes. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, they get too familiar and everything. So, and they forget the reason why they, yeah, they, why they need that mentorship mm. in the first place. So, mm. mentorship is, is important. But you need to, first of all, find the right fit. The kind of business you're doing, not just because you admire somebody or you admire someone's business. There's a lot going on behind every person that you think might be successful, that you think might be getting it right. Mm. They're also struggling. Ah. And they also need their own mentorship and they're also working to better themselves. So when you come into a mentorship system, like this boy needed a mentor, but he needed somebody that maybe was in the same line of business mm. that to work in, that, that, has, that well. had scaled up. He will add value to that person and then learn what the person is doing or not doing right. You know, and also, it's also it's a mindset. I think it was a business person. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Nima, I know Nima has plenty of stories of it. You have learned something. There's something you are, you've, some, some have worked out right. Some have, many have not worked out right. What have you learned in all this, your um, empowering people? What have learned is, you yeah. must, um, education in any form it is, mm. is important. Yeah. This yes. person, obviously, he got to this point because he had no form of education. I was still talking to somebody I interviewed for her um, help job at home. That how is it possible at your age that you did not go to school, you did not learn a skill? Because learning a skill is part of you know, forming your mind and is important. And this man had to do the sales job because no form of education. If he had some form of education, he probably would do better. He would do a sales job. Mm. And so what he now did is that, okay, if it's a sales job, let me do it the best I can, which he thought by singing and praising mm. his product mm. is all he needed to do. And that's the angle that the investor should have carried him from. Yeah. That's the level of knowledge that he has. School not be scam. Any kind of school, school not school. Mm. But that's the level of knowledge that he had and they should have carried him from, from that there. level where mm. he's... I, idolizing his product for people to collect it, to buy it at any, at a, any cost. And so they should have improved it for him. Give him this platform, like a, maybe an influencer platform, to continue to product, to endorse him as an influencer. Yeah. You can brand him, someone as a face, because he idolizes that product. Carry him like that, and that's where he will go from, yeah. to the world. You don't have to come and intern him. I would have said they should do intern, make him an intern. But he may not even know, be able to. He may not to. do better, yeah. but he knows how to idolize anything he's yeah. using, carrying from that point. By now, if we don't get like 50,000 followers. Yes, yeah. other influencers yeah. too. Other, other influencers products yeah. too. Yes. We'll see him and say, come and. One guy was selling something mm. recently. My children let me like that. Fish pie. 
That is now. Oh, wow. And he knows how to idolize his product. <laughs> and somebody made him an influencer. I see that. Sharp, sharp. He's dancing everywhere now. Yeah. In fact, in, in, um, October 1st. He's dancing for someone. Uh, Before. It's October 1st. I came across mm -hmm. a video. Have you heard his voice? But I now clicked on <laughs> his page. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. Number of followers. Yes, yes. That's what he's doing. Yes. And that's what this one would have Imagine been. Imagine setting him up. Yes. For, yeah, for, for business. Buying yeah. lights. Yeah. Ring lights. Ring lights. Ring lights. And <laughs> phone. That's what he would have needed. And by now, it would just become... As you added the endorsers, the, mm. your, your influencers, mm -hmm. the extensions of this world, and the Apropos doctors, you'd have just included him. Yeah, as and that's it. Uh, the uneducated to, person, and he will do well. Yeah. He knows about the water. Maybe well. that can still be a, a way for them to the resuscitate. Yeah. Because yeah. right now he's asking for help, help okay. because he's at ground zero. You know, that business and will work. How can they now support him? Is to let him. Maybe he can be a brand ambassador. You don't yeah. need to set up another business for him. No. But let him now be using that his passion mm -hmm. for marketing. Mm -hmm. Market your product. The brand. Yeah. Let's take Elizabeth, will be our final call on this segment. Hello. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to hear from you guys. You are all looking beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so, this matter, eh? <laughs> this man, I'll put blame on both sides. Mm -hmm. This uh, marketer, he wants to now use my quota and spoil our mm -hmm. Because yeah, because it's 10 million and blame it. Mm. So how, the process that are keeping, getting the skills, getting the effort, the setting ourselves, and how do we give confidence to our business to bring out money and things mm. Just like the social responsibility. Then on the side of the company, this is totally embarrassing. Mm. Because this, for me, and for me, this was Purely an emotional decision, decision. because an organization should have guidelines mm. and um, um, the rules of engagement is not the word, the guidelines on how you select people, how you, you especially when you are con considering your own strategic interest, what was their interest be? Was it in, um, if, if it was to increase sales, how was that one person's location? Exactly. able to increase your sales exactly. across the, your spectrum. Mm -hmm. Or like somebody, one of the ladies that said, why didn't you spread this money across so many people across so many states? Mm -hmm. And then be strategic. So that's <coughs> my, I mean, please, we should not be spoiling me, I need money. <laughs> Please look for we Elizabeth in Abuja support you. Elizabeth business. So our business is also... We are many. Um, so obviously, um, this... This um, guy's spiritual attack, um, we've said that might just be a lack of capacity mm -hmm. that he's deciding to spiritualize. So um, we, he still needs help right now because yeah. obviously he has, he has crumbled the business. Right help. So the right help should be offered to him and he shouldn't just be throwing money at him. You should be supporting. I love what everybody has contributed. You, um, BC spoke about testing out the strategy. If people come and ask you, I want to start tailoring, I want to start this one, test out the person's capacity mm -hmm. with something small before yeah. now giving them um, huge, responsibilities. huge responsibilities and huge financial support. Um, Amaka spoke about mentorship. And she said that for mentorship, you should, the, even you that you're seeking mentorship should be prepared to add value. So I feel that that's also something we can do. If you have somebody you want to support, don't just give them money for business. Pay them with a tailor. If somebody wants to sell human hair and they say, help me establish a human hair business, tell the person to come and work for BC for six Simple. months. Simple. Tell the person to intern in BC's office. Mm -hmm. You can cover the person's transport fare so that the person does like a sort of apprenticeship. Yeah. Vast service how the business, is how the business go. And you can do that for anybody across exactly. anybody you want to help. Because Nima said education in any form is important. So yes. before you give somebody money to sell rice, let the person come to Nima's place and see how Nima is bagging mm -hmm. rice be bagging rice or dealing with the people, meal. you yeah. know, and all of those things would give the person a form of education in that business. business. That is what the best empowerment anybody can ask of right also now. Also, self development. You save Google. Mm. Uh, hey. Google it. Save. Thank Google you. <laughs> on that, on YouTube. Yes, on that note, on that one, final one, the one of self. If we you know we want to help those that want to support, mm -hmm. and many of, many of our viewers are sort of like empowered enough to want to support somebody and mm. help somebody, mm. we've given them how to. If you are not getting anybody's support, go on Google, mm. University yes. of YouTube, mm. and support yourself yes. by learning yes. how to do it by yourself. That's what we can take on this segment of the show. When we return, we'll be discussing something more interesting or less interesting. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You'll find out. Mm -hmm.
Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.